Hey guys, I look here, and uh, today I just wanted to say something. You know, since there have been a lot of popular channels and stuff like Jack's Films, PewDiePie, that has started a commotion of jerks on YouTube. In fact, most people I find, like, insult their very first Let's Play. Come on. One time I saw this guy's very first Let's Play of Earthbound Zero. At least he even has it. Come on. I, I, I haven't been able to find a ROM of Earthbound Zero yet. I've been looking for one for a continuous amount of time. All I found was Mother. That's it. Anyway... Back to back to the back to the talk of this video. There have been a lot of jerks over the years, and if you know, I'll, I'll, if you're watching this video, I'm I'm not trying to be a jerk to haters. I'm just trying to to like get some sense into all those all these jerks on the internet, and. And plus, nobody gives constructive cr criticism anymore. Nobody. One time, I one time I put a comment on this guy's video, saying saying that nobody was giving constructive criticism and, and was just flat out criticizing his voice, in a non constructive way. So that's why I decided to come in and give some constructive criticism. There was there was only a few problems. There was only a few problems with this video. The rest of it, I didn't care. The rest of it, I didn't care. I mean, what if his voice was squeakier? Come on. I mean, he's lucky enough to even have the ROM of, of Earthbound Zero. But he did use the ROM hack. He did use a hack of it called Earthbound Easy, which was basically just a ROM hack of Earthbound Zero that just makes the game easier. So he practically cheated. I can see why he's being criticized. But, whatever. Back to business. There are so many Let's Players who don't even care about if people use a video camera for their very first Let's Play. You know, same with me. I used a video camera for my very first Let's Play. I did UB Funky's Let's Play. I remember it. But then I deleted it when I got a screen recorder. See, see, I'm trying to advance. I'm trying to advance on YouTube, and yeah, this is a half update video, half video for major jerks to watch. See, what I'm only trying to say is be nicer and give constructive criticism if you think something is bad. Don't just say something. Don't just say something is legitimately terrible. If you don't, if you didn't say why, it's legitimately terrible. Now, don't give me that we are giving constructive criticism. We only need to say a few words. Because no, constructive criticism is supposed to be long enough so that the person can understand, so that the person can understand what you mean. So, and then you can get better. That's all I'm saying. And nobody seems to give constructive criticism anymore. Like on the same walkthrough I was talking about earlier. A guy who like, come back when you have a voice. It's just... Why does everybody care about people's voices? Come on. Kind of like how people are insulting Peanut Butter Gamer because he has a freaking... Because... Well... I really don't know. I really don't know how to explain it, but one time I saw a very mean comment that got so much hate. This one comment I found got so much hate that even I joined into it. Seriously. He, he, he called him Justin Bieber, and everybody's calling him Shaggy because of his haircut. Why, why does everyone... But just why does everyone care about Peanut Butter Gamer's haircut? Anyway, back to another YouTuber. I'll just say this. Hmm, I'll make it.
Hold on, guys. Let me think of something. Okay, guys, I'm back. I thought of something perfect. Have you ever played Grotopia? Because you'd be very unlucky if you did. Because you have no idea how much of a jerk people are unless you're putting them on YouTube. Seriously. If you're putting them on YouTube, they seem nice, but pretty much everyone I find on Grotopia is a freakish jerk. Either trolling people or just pushing them into lava blocks. It's getting really annoying. But, for those of you who've never used Scratch, people are much more respectful on that for some reason. People are disrespectful on YouTube, people are... Okay, while well, YouTube doesn't have the most disrespectful people, what exactly has the most disrespectful people? I'll tell you. Little Big Planet 2. While this game seems fairly happy and charming... There is also some a real dark side to that game. Th there's also a real dark side to that game thanks to what the community has been making. Like for example, I didn't like a level. I didn't like a popular level. What? It's just my opinion. I dislike it. You know, it's just not that good in my opinion. And three people went on my account and insulted me because I hate it, I, because I didn't like it. Like, for example, a guy went on my account, he's just like, Hey, stop saying tw Solid Ninja 2020 levels suck. Stuck, suck, your levels suck too, but we don't care, so please stop saying it suck, thanks. Now who do you think is a jerk? Me? Or him? Because I, I, all I did was just dislike a level. That's it. I, I just didn't like it. It just kind of annoyed me so yeah also another person came he's like if you think I'm if you think I'm complaining about you no I'm complaining I'm complaining about you disliking Solid Ninja 2020 level the way the cookie crumbles if you like it I really don't care it's just I really I just don't like it that much I'm you see not everyone can be the same like, for example, that level I was just talking about on Little Big Planet 2. People insulted me because of my own opinion. Everybody on the internet's doing that these days. It's because they decide to think of the people who dislike a popular level as noobs or beches or anything rude you would anything rude you would be pleased to say. Which I wouldn't be pleased to say that crap. Except for that. But, well, it's because I'm allowed to say crap for some reason. I will know why. Anyway. Anyway, people... Okay, let's, let's just get back to YouTube here. Have you even seen my brother's videos? Well, all he does is music, but... He's become a... We, we started a major argument because of one of his friends. A major argument on YouTube because of one of Kai's friends starting it off. And Kai didn't seem Kai didn't seem to care and decided to join in and and say and and point out, and try to point out that I'm high on crack and that I'm a crackhead and stuff. Because if you don't know me, I'm not high on drugs. See, look at my face. It's perfectly clean. Someone who has had drugs would not have this clean of a face. Seriously. Oh, and also... Just a little... Oh, and also just a little... Um, off topic... Off topic or... Yeah. Just a little one there. Um... So... Okay. Oh, um, so, my brother is trying to say that I'm a jerk on YouTube. What? Well, all I said, all I said, all I did was, like, uh, plays Earthbound after this song, lol. And Kai's friend is just like, no one cares, Isaac, yeah, no one cares. And Kai doesn't seem to mind that he's being a freaking jerk. Anyway. So, also... Kai's friend Mauricio decided to join in, 
and call me a freaking girl, and call both me and Kenny a freaking girl. So that's why I jumped back at him. You know, you know, I'm the kind of person who deserves, who, who needs payback if someone who deserves someone to be rude to them. I don't care. Sorry if I'm being a jerk here. I think I'm getting too caught up with those who are jerks, like my brother and his friends. He also tries to be a liar, trying to... Also, he even... He even... He, he was even going to tell my dad that I was going to... That, that I watched PORN. And the way he would figure out is by someone honest like me, seriously. I, why, why in the name of God would I ever go to watch porn on the internet? Seriously, why? Also, people are also really, really disrespectful about other people's opinions. And sorry if I talked about it, but, like, opinions. But, now we're going to talk about real life here. I've never forgotten about this since it happened. One time when I was in fourth grade, there was a game called Gratopia that was very hot with two of my friends. And two of my friends, we stopped being friends for a while. Because, one, because they decided to pick a fight with me. I tried to defend myself. Seriously, you did the only reason I would ever hit someone is for self-defense or payback. Because, seriously. Seriously, so these two, so my two friends, they beat me up because I didn't like a stupid game. Because I didn't like Rotopia. Come on, opi come on, opinions. They, he even sent opinions a few times and beat me up because I didn't like Rotopia. Come on. Come on. If he, sa if he said that my opinions... He thinks that my opinions are dumb and that he doesn't care about stuff I show him anymore. Seriously. Come on. We were playing Zelda Ocarina of Time one night and we were doing fine. And then... Oh, I also wanted to mention another thing. You know how... If you were a kid, you probably experienced this. You know, one kid... You know, one of your friends is nice when another friend isn't around. Right? This always happened to me. Every time his friends around, he would be a total jerk. Like one time, me and Alex were hanging out and talking about stuff, and and like talking about what we're gonna, what we're gonna do in Gartopia, because I actually like that game now. And then Luke comes, and Alex starts being a jerk. And then I stop liking Gartopia because because they are so insane. And that's also another reason they beat me up because they were together. The same thing happened when I was in third grade, and there was a kid named Connor, and his friend Benner was a very, very nice person when he wasn't around Connor. When he was around Connor, he freaking hated me. Come on. If That's why if Connor was absent, I would be happy at the time. Because Benner would stop being a jerk. Okay. I think that might be enough for the jerks video. Anyway, bye bye. By the way, this was unscripted. I just thought of this randomly. Bye.